Welcome back to Real Estate Investing with Alex Deacon, where today we're going to be two bros talking about home inspections. Just yeah. bro, broing it up. What up, bro? What up, bro? Teddy Brozevelt. Bro, bro J. Simpson, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about Brome inspections. Oh, the Brome oh, inspections so- by the Brome Inspector. Bro. Yep, why, why do a home inspection? Should I not do one? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? What inspection should I get done? How about that one? Ooh, because there's a bunch of different things you can check. Uh, like absolutely, unless you are experienced at, you know, if you bought a lot of properties, I would highly suggest getting a home inspection. First time buyer, even if you've only bought, if you bought 10 rental properties, that's not enough rental properties to know, like maybe to go without a home inspection. Like I don't normally do home inspections. I will do them though from time to time. If it's something that I'm not sure about, or I might hire a home inspector to have an official report because I know something's wrong with the house, but I want to use that report to maybe negotiate a way out of the deal or a better price. Okay. But uh, home inspections, there's probably four main things that are commonly checked. And this is just your average home, duplex, multifamily. This isn't like a, uh, an industrial complex or uh, you know something that's a large scale where you're doing environmental tests and things like that. Okay, So you would do a typical home inspection covers like uh, looking at the windows, how they operate, uh, checking the electrical system, checking outlets, light switches, checking the electrical box. Uh, a plumbing inspection, which would be all inclusive in a home inspection, so they're checking like the interior gas lines for leaks. They're checking the the plumbing waste stacks for leaks. They're checking up for any sort of plumbing leaks and the quality of the plumbing overall, hot water tank, things like that. And they're going to check the ba- home inspector is going to check the basic structure. So they're going to look at the beams in the basement, the post jacks that hold up the beams. They're going to look at the s- any of the lumber components, the 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 walls are they are they um, bowed in any way? Are they leaning? They're going to check to make sure that it's solid structurally, foundation wise. Uh, home inspectors are going to check the roof. There, some of them will get up on the roof. A lot of them now will just basically. Sometimes they'll do a drone on the roof, or they'll just from the from the street they'll look at the roof with a, a binoculars and just uh-huh. you know do an overall assessment that way. So they're going to basically check over the entire house, and, and there's you know there's potential they're going to miss something. Like a home inspector doesn't know if the house gets wet when it per- torrential rain okay. storm. If the if the house gets wet in the basement, how's the home inspector going to know that if it's the middle of summer and it hasn't rained in, in 30 days? Mm-hmm. So there are some things that you know you're you're not going to get. It's not 100 percent accurate, but it's a really good gauge. So you know what you're buying, and you know not necessarily know uh, what the problems are, but how to maybe sidestep future problems. You know, the home inspector might tell you, "Hey, these downspouts are going to get clogged up every every fall because the trees overhanging the, the downspout." So, so you don't have to go up there and and, and clean the downspout. You might want to get gutter guards. You might want to have someone come out and clean uh, cut the tree back. You might want to have that tree completely removed, or you just might want to remember, get up there every six months and have somebody clean the gutters out. You know, make sure that the water is draining properly so you're not getting water in the basement. So that's a basic home inspection. They're checking everything from the foundation to the electrical outlets to plumbing to the maybe running the dishwasher and checking and making sure the stove works and the burners work and there's no gas leaks and things like that. Okay. You can also do what's called a... A sewer camera test and what that does is that ensures that your main sewer line which is underground and it could be 50 feet long it could be 300 feet long it just depends on how long it has to go to hit the main sewer line that's owned by the municipality so the uh, what will happen is a plumber will put a camera down the sewer line and he will literally check that sewer line inch by inch to make sure there's no cracks there's no root infiltration from trees um, make sure it's not separated in any way and a lot of townships now are requiring that because they want to make sure that that sewer line which is obviously raw sewage it's going down your your sewer line from your house 
if it's cracked or if it's separated, that that raw sewage is not getting into and leaching into the ground, which will eventually make it to the ground or to the rivers, mm-hmm. right? So make it to our water sources. So a lot of a lot of municipalities are requiring that now. But it's not a bad idea to get a sewer line camera done, and most home inspectors don't do that. You'd have to call in a, a plumber to do that. It can cost anywhere from a hundred to three hundred dollars to have that done. Really good idea because I you know a sewer line can be five or six thousand dollars. A sewer line can be thirty thousand dollars. It just depends how deep it is and how far it is and the difficulty. Does it go under a street? Do you have to get permits because it's in the street? There's a lot to uh, having a sewer line repaired sometimes. Is that is that one of the higher end, uh, I guess, fixes to a house is, is plumbing? Yeah, that's a huge one. That's yeah, I'm plumbing thinking. is huge. Sewer lines, super probably one of the most expensive repairs, right? Roof would be super expensive. Yeah. Um, okay, so you have a, the plumbing, sewer line. What else can you have? Then you can have what's called a radon detection test done. So if you're going to live in a house, I would I would suggest getting a radon test done. I don't know how much scientific value radon has and how, how true it is if it causes, they say it can cause lung cancer if it's in high levels and you're, you know, it's it's in a, in a house and it can't escape. Because radon gas, from what I understand, you are walking outside and you are, it, it's emitted a natural occurrence, okay? So we're emitted to radon gas. Mm-hmm. But when it's in a house and it can't escape and the levels go up to a certain level, they say over long term it can cause lung cancer. So if you're going to live in a home, might not be a bad idea for for $100, $125, have your home inspector also do a radon test. If the levels are high, then you can negotiate with the seller to mitigate that. To put a radon system in, It's most of the time it's under $1,000. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. very, very simple to do. You're going to want to have a termite inspection done for a couple of reasons. You want to know if you have termites. And two, a lot of banks, lenders uh, will require it. It might be a requirement of the loan that you have a good uh, termite inspection and it's clean. If it's not clean, then you have then you can show proof that the seller did treat for termites prior to closing. Okay. So you have the home inspection. You have the termite inspection. You have potential radon if you want to get a radon test done and the sewer line inspection. You can also have the lead paint tested. Now, lead paint, I've never had anybody test for lead paint, and we're talking about thousands of transactions. But let's just say you're concerned about it because maybe you had a bad experience with it, or maybe this is going to... Maybe you just eat paint chips. (laughs) Maybe maybe you love (laughs) eating paint. And maybe I should test the paint before I eat it. I don't... It really depends on you. I've never had anybody do a lead paint test. In, in all the years we've been doing management, we've had one lead paint issue where the, the little boy was, was taken to the hospital because he wow. was ill. And at the hospital, they found his lead levels were high. So as soon as that happens, and you're a renter, they contact, I think the health department or somebody contacts the landlord, which in this case was us. We were managing the property. So yeah, then then we had to have a, a full test done on the house, and we found that there was some lead paint, but we're not sure that was where the, the kid was getting it from. Could have been a mix. Yeah. So the owner had to go in and abate for the lead paint. He had to scrape and paint, remove some wood. He had to do it all. You know, it was a couple thousand dollars worth of, of work he had to do, and then had then had to have someone come out and retest it. So you can also do a lead paint test, which just very rarely happens. But um, I was saying, because most paint isn't lead based anyway. They stopped making it, I, I believe, in seventy seven or seventy eight. So chances are that's forty years ago that that paint's been removed or painted over. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where you have to be careful is it's usually on the old windows, those old wooden windows. You're, you're raising those windows up and down and up and down, and right. that causes that dust, okay. and that could have lead paint in it from three coats below the. Right. Okay. The regular paint, so that could be an issue. Um, is it a good idea to do a home inspection? Absolutely. Do I do it on every every deal? No, but I'm very experienced at what I do. Uh, all of my home buyers, when I'm selling single family homes and they're living there or renting them out, they usually do a home inspection. Uh, typical cost right now is home inspections about three hundred. Uh, sewer camera inspections between, like I said, a hundred and three hundred. Uh, die. Um, Termite inspection is like 75, and a radon test is 
typically about 125. And home inspectors will, will a lot of times, they're covering their butt, you know, because they're not, they're sort of jack of all trades, right? They're not plumbers, they're not official electricians, they're not official HVAC persons. But if the furnace looks like once they open it up a little bit and they look inside and they get their flashlight and they see that it might have an issue, they'll, they'll put in that inspection. Um, seek professional advice on the integrity of this furnace unit. They're more of a jack of all trades. Yeah, cover, covering their butt, but they saw something that maybe looks off, and you should maybe get uh, a professional in there. And then we see that a lot where we have to get an inspector causes us to have to call a plumber or an electrician to go and further evaluate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So it is important, and I would suggest doing it. Um, and what else? Do you have any other questions? No, no, uh, no, bro, Namath. I think uh, I think we did good on this one. <laughs> okay, Teddy Roosevelt. I, I, guess, I, I guess we're good. <laughs> I appreciate. I guess you. we're good to bro. Barack bro, bro Obama. That's a tough <laughs> one to do. Is that slipping in that way? <laughs> but all right, guys. Uh, this was a nice, short, and sweet one on home inspections. Um, listen, uh, do, are they necessary? No. Are they advised that you? Do we advise you that you get one done? Absolutely. Um, you know, with knowledge, you know, with great knowledge comes great uh, responsibility. But you know, we all make mistakes too. So seek. For that us. was deep, man. You know, it's straight from Spider Man. Wow, deep, 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 deep stuff in them comic books. Um, so for <laughs> for Alex, uh, for myself, for everyone here at Deacon Hoover Real Estate Advisors, we thank you. We appreciate you listening in. Uh, check us out on Apple uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, dhrea.com. Basically, Google Alex Deacon or Deacon Hoover Real Estate into your Google or Bing search bar, and you'll see all of our blogs, posts, uh, listings, you name it, it is there. So, guys, we thank you so much. We'll see you next time.